All right, going to show you yet more health risks on children that result from interracial marriage, the sin of interracial marriage. So I'm going to show you the first serious health risk that involves uh, children and adolescents. So basically 34% of biracial individuals in a national survey had been diagnosed with a psychological disorder such as anxiety, depression, or substance abuse versus only 17% of monoracial individuals. The higher rate held up even after the researchers controlled for differences between the groups in age, gender, and life stress, among other factors. And that is from ucdavis.edu, study on there. I'll link it in the uh, description. But biracial individuals, the children of interracial parents, interracial marriage, uh, have basically higher rates of psychological disorders than monoracial people, people of a single race, children of a single race. It is not mentally healthy for you. It can... And they'll say, well, it's not because of the interracial marriage. Yeah, it is. Okay, sin harms you in more ways than one. Okay, next fact. So, adolescents who identify themselves as mixed race are higher, are at higher health and behavior risk than those of one race. So again, when you identify, even this is adolescents, so you have teenagers basically identify as a mixed race, they are at higher risk for even behavioral problems and health problems not just health problems, but also behavior problems too. And you'll see it, they do have higher rates of, of behavioral problems. I've seen it personally quite a lot because I've known a couple of interracial people when I was in high school. And they did not have a high self-esteem. They had a low self-esteem. They were always very sad. They didn't have uh, good emotions. And obviously, you know, emotions, you, you can say what you want about that, but it's not good for you. And I've seen it personally. Their behavioral uh, status is not, it's very negative. So, and that is from uh, ncbi.gov so there's a study on there again I'll link that in the description and the last thing I have on the list, last health risk, health complication uh, compared to white students, mixed race and ethnic students have significantly higher rates of poor mental health conditions and significantly fewer protective factors, that's also from ncbi.gov so again you have students who are mixed race who are, inter who are the product of interracial marriage have significantly high rates of poor mental health. See, it does result in all kinds of psychological and mental health conditions that are negative for you. You see, sin harms you in more ways than one. It can harm you physically, it can harm you mentally, it can harm you spiritually, it can harm you psychologically, neurologically, you name it, it can harm you. So more uh, psychological, mental, and neurological health risks that result from interracial marriage, the serious sin of interracial marriage. Remember, all sin is negative. All sin will harm you in some way. It will have a negative affect either in your health or your spiritual well-being or your spiritual walk with God. So uh, don't get into that kind of stuff. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.